Hello and welcome to Game Concise. This episode is a little bit different because we're not even going to be talking about games. I'm going to feature something a little bit special and something that I had when I was a little boy. It is these Dinosaurs Attack Tops Trading Cards. I picked this uh, box up for relatively cheap. I was pretty fortunate. Had 48 in it, but it actually only has 24 of these wax packs. These uh, each contain five cards, one sticker, and one stick of bubble gum. 25 cents a piece back in 1988 is when these were released, and they were only available in 1988. Uh, there's 55 cards in the complete series of these, and uh, 11 stickers. Each, each, you know, as you can see, has one sticker and five cards. I thought we could take a minute and open these up and uh, have a look and see if we can get a complete set out of these 24 packs that I have. Like I said, 55 cards to make a complete set, 11 stickers total uh, to make a complete set of the stickers as well. These cards are really, really cool. I had them when I was little. Uh, my mom uh, took them away from me because they're really graphic and crazy. They're meant to kind of be uh, sort of pay homage to uh, the Mars Attacks cards that were, I believe, 1962. I only had a few. I definitely did not have a complete set when I was little. I only had a couple. My mom took them away because she was mean like that. Look at that. 1988 bubble gum down in there. We're going to get a piece out of every package that we open. I am not going to eat that. Um, let's take a look at what we got from this first pack here. We got Triceratops. This is number 10. Oh, boy. Look at those guys. Look, he's getting impaled by the, the horn on the front of that thing's face. That's a terrible way to go. Triceratops. Tricer uh tops. Okay, there's some facts um, about the triceratops. I don't think it would go around killing people because they were, I think, herbivores, triceratops. Maybe there's facts about it in the back. I don't know. But there you go. That's number 10. Let's keep that at, at the ready. Number 10 of the 11 stickers that we need to get. Okay, number three. Oh, we're already starting off uh, uh, good here. The scanner disaster. The what? Okay, so these all follow sort of a story. Okay, there's like a story arc uh, amongst the 55 cards uh, that are form a complete set. Uh, dinosaurs come back somehow. The scientists try and find a way to get rid of them. Anyway, the scanner disaster. Pretty gnarly looking there. That's number three. Each one of them has a little fake news thing. In the back, look at that C card four. The past comes alive. Oh my goodness, there's fighter jets taking out that one. I hope we come across that one. So, number three, scanner disaster. Oh, panic in the stadium. Oh my god, look out. A dinosaur is attacking. He's bitten my bat in half. Oh man, it's bitten that guy's head off. Gnarly. Look at that. Oh, he's getting stepped on. That's number 12. We're not quite there yet. We're actually going way out of order. Coasting to Calamity, number 26. What a horrible way to go. Also, I don't think that's to scale. That's either a very, very large T-Rex or a really, really small roller coaster. Who knows? Number eight. Oh, that's just sad. Crushing it. Look at that. Before your very eyes. Oh, the canine is squashed. That's traumatic for any child, I'm sure. Number six, police precinct. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Ooh, eyeball flying out. Police precinct assaulted. Wow. Law enforcers bashed by raging beasts. Yeah, I'd say so. What kind of dino even is that? Stegosaurus, I think. Also, plant eaters. Probably unlikely to go on a rampage destroying what looks like a horse house. Precinct, I guess, is what it's called. It was almost called a call it a, call it a, a, a courthouse there. Who knows? Who knows what I'm talking about? That's number six. I'll tell you what, we got number eight. Okay, number three. Number six. Uh, number eight. Number twelve and number twenty-six. Okay, interesting. Next pack. Let's get going here. Be cool if I found the ones that I had when I was little that my mom took away. That'd be nice. Ooh, Allosaurus. Get that gum out of here. Allosaurus biting the head off of a businessman like they were known to do. There's some facts. 10 meters, about 300 kilograms, late Jurassic. 
Strange lizard is the meaning of its name. Allosaurus, the strange lizard. What number is that? And that's number one. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Only eight, no, wait, nine more of these to find. All right. I got number 10 and number one. Hmm. Number 34, animal wars. Is it eating the lion's brains? How in, that's a, oh my gosh, a pterosaur picking up a gorilla and beaking it in the belly, allegedly. This guy's like, holy fuck. All right. Oh, what number was that? Sorry, I didn't even look. 34. <gasps> Day of the duck bill. Notice that this one isn't actually attacking the people. It's just standing up rapidly and knocking their boat over, causing this duck hunter to shoot this other duck hunter. This is number 25. This is a little more accurate considering the duck bill was a plant eater. Actually, I did have this one when I was little. I remember it distinctly because I was like, oh, what a horrible, horrible situation to find yourself in. Number uh, 25 there. Number 24. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Anchorman's peril. Did dinosaurs have forked tongues? I don't know if that's a thing. Oh boy, look at this guy's face. He almost looks aroused in a weird way. Number 45. Okay, we're kind of getting all sorts of numbers, but we haven't had any duplicates yet. That's good. Gruesome fate. Number 50. We're getting towards the end of the thing here. Oh boy, that one's head is vanished. I don't know what is happening. Look at this. Oh, boy. London in Flames, number 24. How did they get up there? Like, how did they fall? Oh, okay, I see. They're jumping out of the burning building and landing on the spikes. Okay. This guy could just as easily get up and run away as the dinosaur is currently consuming a different person. Number 24. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Five cards, one sticker. Okay, let's open this one up and have a look. Oh, boy. By the way, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm bored and I have nothing else to do right now. Number three, looks like, yeah, this is the Dim Dimitrodon? Dimitrodon. Dim Dimitrodon. 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 They were, were they meat eaters? Would they instinctively attack a bus like that? Who knows? Well, that is a tiny little person getting picked up in the, in the huge crushing grip of that dinosaur there insane insane we'll put that with the other stickers holy crap picnic of peril Ooh, that is a perilous picnic i like the dinosaurs because they kind of look like that old style from the old movies you know all the old claymation movies they used to make uh, i don't know what kind of dino that's even supposed to be but i like how they look look he's ripping that guy right in half is he stealing it from this one or is this one stealing it from this one who knows, but oh my god, my picnic is ruined. What do I tell my friends at school? If there is a school. Number 37. Still no duplicates? That's good news. 48. You can't let them win. <laughs> I'll be interested to see how the story unfolds once we get all 55 of these, because this is a, an interesting scenario. What is going on here? This this dino is reaching through the, the time rift there or something? I don't know. Number 48. 36. What's going on here? I'm surprised we haven't had any duplicates. We might get a, a 55 pack or a 55, uh, all 55 cards, is, you know, sooner than we think. Comics Con Catastrophe. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is it. This is really how I go. Look at these comics this guy has. Mud. Fist. Our favorite superheroes, Mud and Fist. These guys. Holy shit, man. Look at that. Oh, boy. Number 36. No duplicates yet. <gasps> Grip of horror. Okay, that goes along with the other one we just saw. Look at that. You can't let them win. 46 and 48. So it would be like this. <gasps> oh my God, he's got me. And then something else, a few other things happen. And then you can't let them win. So. <laughs> no. He's presumably beating on the fist with his fist. Also, do dinos have fists? Mm, we'll find out. Mm, okay. Moving on, number 36, I just noticed because I said it, it has its own little comic on the back of it. This is the Comic-Con Catastrophe one. Oh, boy. Which comic do we get? Is it Fist or is it or is it Mud? Who knows? Oh, no, it's its own little uh, sort of Archie comic. Hey, wait a minute now. That's number 37. We just saw that one. Now they come crashing in. Arrgh, that's hilarious. All right, moving on. 
open this one up. I cannot believe we haven't had any duplicates. Get that gum off of there. What number is this? Number eight. This is a duplicate, isn't it? Did we already have number eight? No, we have one, ten, and three. Wow. Getting there. Number eight. Look at that. Stegosaurus has swiped you with his gargantuan tail while you were DJing near the in a white void. Who knows what's going on there? All right. Italy under siege. Oh no, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is falling all the way down. Are people allowed to go to the top of the uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa? Is that like a thing? Can you go up there and look down? Who knows? Also, what are the planes doing? I guess drop, dropping these bombs on these guys? I don't know. Holy bananas! Moving on, that is number 10. Number 54, Rebuilding Our World. Okay, so that's the second to last card. So something happened, and uh, I guess they'll move on to rebuilding the world as the dino looks on in the void. Okay, uh, number 19. Still no duplicates. We could be there really quick. Madness in the streets. <laughs> this blind guy is going to have a horrible, horrible day and drop his popcorn, his chips, his french fries. Those are french fries, right? Who knows? Number 19. Holy shit. <laughs> Supreme Evil number 47. That is not even a dinosaur. What the hell is that supposed to even be? Hang on a second. Where's the guys? So that, okay, this guy has fists. Number 47. Where's the other one? With There we go. There's number 48, the one right after it. You can't let them win. So wait a minute. He's already here. But, uh, you know, before number 48, where he's being pulled through this thing, this doesn't really make much sense in terms of continuity, but, you know, whatever. Look, he's drooling with anticipation of eating that meal. Ooh. You can't hold them back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Run! Give up now! Oh. And look, those things... What is the name of that dinosaur? Either way, they can't even get that big. Also, wow. Yikes. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's move along. gum out of there. Sticky, sticky gum. Still no duplicates, which is good. Ooh, pterodon. I got a dog over here. This is number one. Sweet. Oh, no. It bit the head right off of that horse rider. Also, it picked up the horse and then bit off the head of the horse rider. Pure uh, <laughs> equine peril right there. Number one. Put that in the stack. Holy shit. Look at this guy's face. Meltdown! What has been melting down? Oh, it's a nuclear power plant. I can see it back there in the back. These dinos are fighting each other now? Is that how this goes? So I guess that's radiation that's melting all of them. That's intense right there. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, a kid strikes back. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I had this one too. And actually, I had this one recently. And I was sharing these cards uh, with my friends. And uh, uh, one of my friends got a pack that had this card in it and made a greeting card out of it. And I gave it to uh, to uh, uh, my flight instructor when I was done with some of my training. So that was, that's interesting. I said, nothing says thank you like a kid shooting a T-Rex with a bazooka or something like that. Had absolutely nothing to do with flight. Um, but, you know, regardless, there you go. Number 30, still no duplicates. We're kicking through this. Okay. <laughs> Number 22, the behemoth fries. So that's a good way to get rid of them. Just let them walk into power lines on their own. Okay, if you say so. Number two, experiment in space. Okay, now we're getting to the heart of the story. So what happened? How did this begin? These insane rocket space shuttles powering towards this space station, shooting an orange beam of something into the, the blackness of space. Okay. Lights, camera, carnage. Yep. That one's just kind of dumb. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Oh, okay, that's a foot. I see. It's a real foot crushing the fake stage, and the guy in the fake dino suit is like, whoa. Oh, that's fun. Okay, next up. Let's get him out of here. I cannot believe... We're having great luck with this. How many have we opened? One, two, three... Four, five, six of them, and we haven't had any duplicates. That's awesome. Number four, Brontosaurus not doing something completely against its nature, eating flesh, 
Okay, this is the one that sneezed on the little girl in the tree in Jurassic Park. These things eat plants, they don't eat people. So what the fuck is going on here? Nobody knows. Number four, though. That's good. Oh, crushing a canine. There's our first duplicate. Squash. Roof. Oh, no, Rover. There's another duplicate right after it. I'm going to put duplicates on the other side. Oh, no, there's that guy losing his eyeball again. Yep, there's the one with the lion getting its brains eaten. We've seen that one. So I was... Oh, and there's this one again. Day of the duck bill. And that one's also a duplicate. Okay, so uh, that was an entire pack of duplicates, except for the sticker, which was not a duplicate. So uh, as soon as I was talking it up about how great we were doing, we had like a whole package of duplicates. But okay. Lights, camera, carnage. You're going to tell that one's a duplicate. All right, moving on here. What do we got? Pterodon duplicate. What a shame. Meltdown duplicate. What a shame. Oh, here we go. This one's new. Heartland Horror. Those guts exploding out with such force. What kind of dinosaur is that? The armadillo, Don? Something like that? Anyway, it's new. Look, it's eating a horse. Oh, poor horse. That's That kills me. That kills me right there. Okay. Oh, that's a duplicate. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Okay. Moving on. Come on now. Ooh, sticker is not a duplicate. That's good news. This is number nine, the Trachodon. This is interesting because this is one of the only cards, if not the only card, and it's not even a card, it's a sticker, but it's the only one out of this whole thing where it doesn't have a human being, being or an animal being uh, brutally maimed and mauled by something or exploding or there's no blood and guts it's just picking up a street light for whatever reason which is accurate because this was not a meat eater so there you go number nine the trachodon Ooh, gnarly yo cat lady's revenge step away from my kitties kaboom giant alligator is what that looks like to me but who knows but it was anyway it's an ex giant alligator and that's not a duplicate so that's good Moving on. Ooh, also not a duplicate. What the hell? Entombed. What is going on there? Why is he inside? Why is he molded into that dinosaur? What is happening here? We have to read a little bit about this one. Of all the wild horrors happening of late, none can compare with the tragic demise of Harry Plume. Harry Plume. Camping in the mountains with friends, Harry left his tent to relieve himself in the nearby woods. Seconds later, blood curling streams were heard. His buddies rushed to Harry's aid only to find the man embedded within the raging Tyrannosaur. It seems the monster materialized in the same place as poor Harry. Okay, there you go. He materialized where the dude was standing. And there you go. Now he's a half man, half dinosaur monstrosity. Fantastic. A lady in distress. That's new to us. All right, number five. Look at that. Wrapping itself around the Statue of Liberty is the, the platid, Platiodon? Platodon? I don't know what kind of dinosaur it is. Probably says on the back. That's what they think Nessie is or something like that. Um, the Loch Ness Monster. Who knows? With those people falling off the top, uh, which is interesting because I don't think you're even allowed to go back up, uh, go up there at this point. Um, but who knows? Who knows? There you go. Pretty cool. Rock concert carnage. That guy's having his hair ripped off. He's being scalped by a dino. Pretty intense. Uh, they're fighting them off with their guitars and things. Ooh, boy. Fascinating stuff. Oh, this one's new, too. Bashing the BMT. Hmm. Yep, that guy... Of all the way, of all the ways to die in a, in a dinosaur apocalypse, stepping on the electrified tracks and being electrocuted to death, uh, has to be the most boring way to go in this scenario but there you go number 20 are we i mean gosh we have to be almost there at this point we've opened like seven okay get this one next that stick of gum is actually fully intact and it's not even a duplicate sticker yo we're kicking through this this is working out great number three this is a Oh, wait, no, this is a duplicate. We do have this one, I remember, because I couldn't pronounce it right. The one that's eating the bus. Yeah, it's in there. Okay. Duplicate. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, God. That's probably one of the more graphic ones that we've seen so far. That's, I don't know if that's the face you would make. Maybe it is. Our force is flattened, and the rats are coming along to scavenge his remains. Disgusting. All right. Oh, Burger Barn. Fast food frenzy. Look at that, the, the golden bees. Hmm. Yet another 
plant eating dinosaur attacking a fast food. Oh, well, okay. It does say salads fresh all day. So maybe that's what it was after. What is this? It's not a salad. Oh. Okay, cool. Moving on. Number 21 is gotten. No. Comics Con Catastrophe. We've seen it. Seen it. Grip of four. Seen it. Manhattan Island. Swamped. Holy shit. That's not even a dinosaur. That's just a giant fucking bug eating this lady's brains. Gnarly. I love it. All right. Let's open up a few more. We should already have another. We should already have a full pack by now. I don't have all the stickers. I can tell you that much. Oh, yeah. Look at this gnarly, gnarly, gnarly one here. Parasaurolophus, para, para, paras, Parasaurolophus, whatever. Eating a baby. Classic. Okay. Moving on. The Colonel. Shredded. It's not really shredded, more so as a, a ripped in half. Hmm. Those are some awesome looking dinos, though. I particularly like this one. That's cool. Number 15, we're getting there. Prometheus explodes. So that must have been the name of the space station up there, and it uh it ain't doing so hot. That's good. Oh boy, the past comes alive. The jets are attacking. That giant dino is destroying what appears to be the Golden Gate Bridge. Wow. That's some cool stuff. Look at that guy. There's always every single one of these, somebody is falling from a great height, it seems. Uh, almost, of course, this guy's presumably trying to escape from that truck. And, uh, yeah. Time Twister. Okay, 1988, 1825, 1301. So they're being sucked back through time, it appears. This is number 51, so it's towards the end. That's good. Once I, I feel like we might have all of them, I'll just put them in order and we can look at them. And then number 43, Business Lunch. Business lunch. Somebody's got his dentures knocked out. It was that guy. <laughs> oh, God. I love it. Let's do one more. And then I'll count and see how many cards we got. And see if uh, see if we can't almost make a full, full thing. Full set. Out of what we've picked up. <clears throat> Tyrannosaurus. That's new. That's taken a skateboarder out of commission. Tony Hawk. Your days are numbered. Number 11. That's the last one in the set. Cool. All right. Wrestling Riot. I cannot believe how few, I don't want to jinx it, but how few duplicates we've got. This is fantastic. <laughs> Why do they have sumo wrestlers in there with professional wrestling? This guy is genuinely confused. Also, there's no blood in this one, so that's interesting. Number 40. Wrestling Riot. Cool. Oh, boy. Here's these guys again. Oh, no. Lunch break. Kids. Oh, what a horrible way. Oh, our forces flattened. Seen it. Fast food frenzy. Love that card. Seen it. Oh, my God. Trilobite terror. Once again, not dinos. Also, for, for fuck's sake, just push them off of you, guy. Like, they're little bugs. Just flail your arms and get up and get away, right? Who knows? Let's do a few more. Let's at least try to get a pack of stickers before we count all the cards. Evacuate. This one looks uh, promising. <laughs> That's a duplicate uh, right off. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's number two. Ankylosaurus. Oof. <laughs> My dog is making noises. It's fun. Ankylosaurus. So do we have that one? We don't. We don't, do we? Let's look at at least these. We have number two, number 11, five, number one, number two, number one, number two, uh, number 10, number three. We're almost there. Two, three, eight, seven, number four. Mm hmm. Eight, number five. Wait, we might have it. What are we missing? We're missing number six. We're only missing one out of the uh, uh, stickers to have a complete set of stickers already. And that's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight packages open so far? I wasn't counting, who knows? Homeroom horror. Once again, the students are facing the wrath of the giant purple tyrannosaur, maybe? That frog is getting the fuck out of there, though. We know that much. Monster in the museum. Goodness gracious. Ugh. Dinosaur synopsis. This is number 55. This is the last one. That's great. This is the last one because it's uh, the checklist. 
Cool. There's the synopsis of it. I'm going to hold that up there in case you want to pause it and read. Good enough. All right. We'll put that in with the, with the rest. Dinosaurs attack. 55 cards and 11 stickers. What is this? This is the forward. This is number one. Oh, that's good news. Cool. All right. Prometheus explodes. Seen it. I'm going to count what we got and uh, take a look here. I know we have number one, so that's good. And we have number 55. We have the first and last so far right here. We still need, I think, one more sticker. Um, this is going to take a minute, so I might do a little bit of a of a jump and we'll go from there. Okay, I've gone through them and the only ones that we need, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need 11. We're missing 11, not counting uh, the one sticker that we also don't have. So 12 cards total we need. They are number 7, 9, 49, 10, 11, 17, 18, 23, 27, 28, and 52. So let's keep going until we get all those. I can't wait till we do. All right. We've been doing really good. I mean, we almost have a complete set. We're only missing uh, 12, 12 cards out of 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, out of 12. So 12 cards out of 12 packs opened. Uh, that's not uh, a bad a bad situation at all if you were buying these outright. And there's number 11. We already have that one. Once again, Dinosaurs Attack number one. We already have that. Oh, there's a new one right there. We can check this off the list. Number 17. Blue Water Savage Death. What kind of dinosaur is that? With ears and a shark? Wiener? Nobody knows. All right, I'll check that off the list. Number 17. Cool. Add it to the collection. Number 10, we needed this one? No, do we? I already have this one. Did I count wrong? I must not have put it in the stack. Hang on a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 10, 10 I already have. Why did I write that I needed 10? Six, I need seven, wait, five, six. I need seven and nine. Not 10. I already have 10. I don't know why I wrote that down. Okay, so hey, that just uh, makes our odds a little easier, a little better. Okay, so where do you have that one? Cool beans. This one looks like we already have it. Rebuilding our world. Number 19, we don't need. That's the blind guy. All right, so this is, I guess, where it gets tricky. This is where it gets tricky. Oh, boy. Number two, we already got that one. What are we missing out of these? I didn't even think to remember the number. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We just need number six, right? One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, yeah, so we just need number six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we just need number six, and then we'll have a complete set there. Oh boy. Homeroom Horror, we've seen it. We got it. Monsters in the Museum, we've seen it, we've got it. Number 55, seen it, got it. Prometheus Explodes, seen it and got it. Oh boy, now it's not looking so good. How many packs do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We only have ten packs left and we need like nine cards. Our odds are not looking so good this time. Not looking so good. Uh-oh, that's good. Right off the bat, I actually had this sticker when I was little too. I was fascinated by it because of the way the guy's guts get stuck in the thing's teeth. And I was obsessed with the Loch Ness Monster when I was little, and I was uh, for sure that this is what it was. Number six, there's a complete set of stickers right there, the Plesiosaurus. All right, add that one there. Bada bing, bada boom. That is a complete set of the stickers from Dinosaurs Attack. We'll take a look at them all in a row in a little bit. Number 27... Uh, we needed this one. Soviets versus Dimitrodons. That's a pretty cool one right there. I really like how that one looks with the tanks and the rockets launching at it. Cool. I'll add that to the collection. Number nine. We also needed this one. Nuptial Nightmare. Oh, boy. Now, I've seen this one before. Um, and <laughs> Actually, I wanted to put this on our wedding invitations, but my wife uh, wouldn't let me. There's still time, though, for me to pass them out in a similar kind of situation, I guess. Uh, I'll pause it. Or you can all look it up on the internet, find your own picture. This would be a fantastic 
wedding invitation right here. Nuptial nightmare. She kept saying, our nuptials are not going to be a nightmare. Our, our wedding won't be a nightmare. And I was like, no, not the wedding. But I can tell you right now that if a stegosaurus burst in and impaled us both, that'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it? All right, we needed that. Add it to the collection. Oh, my God. Sauron Secrets, number 28. We needed this one. First, I got to mark off Nuptial and Nightmare and number 27. Okay, we got number 9. Check. Number 27, check. We needed number 28 as well. Here it is in my hand. Sauron. Sauronian? Saurian. Saurian Secrets. Ooh. Ooh. I always thought this guy kind of looked like in a weird way, like Matt Berry. I don't know. We'll see. Number 1. Again, and uh, number 17 again. Okay, okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Checking off the ones that we needed like crazy. What is this guy? <gasps> Every continent on the globe has been invaded by flesh hungry, blood drunk dinosaurs. Cool. There's the baby eating a parasolopolopolopolis again. Hmm. Oh, there's the kernel shredded again. Seen it. Number 23. We needed this one. Look at this one, fellas. The perfect wave. <laughs> oh, I think that might be my new favorite card out of all of this. That is just fantastic. The perfect wave. All right, number 23. Add it to the collection. Mark it off the list. Oh, number 18. We needed this one as well. Tourist Trap. <laughs> what is that guy even doing there? How would you find yourself able to hang on to the lip of George Washington or whoever that's supposed to be. Also, how did it peck out the eye? The eyes are, it's one big solid piece of rock and I don't think you're allowed on top of it in the first place. Perhaps they were carried there. Oh yeah, they must've been carried there. See, they've got them in their, in their bills. Okay, cool. Number 18, tourist trap. Moving on. I already checked it off. No, I didn't. Now I did. Number 51, we already have the time twister one. From present day and back, number 43, business lunch. We've already got it. This narrows it down. We only need number 7, number 49, number 11, and number 52. So four more cards, and we have this many, this many to go through, each with five cards. We have pretty good odds, but you never know. Okay. Coasting to Calamity. That's the one with the roller coaster that doesn't make any sense. Not a worry. Not a worry. All right. These don't really matter anymore since we already have a full set of these. Still, that's pretty gnarly. Okay. Number 47, Supreme Evil. Seen it. Number 38, we can't hold them back. Seen it. Number 3, seen it. Number 12, seen it. Okay, you might have seen it go a little wonky and me cut out mid-sentence, and that is because my battery died. So I had to go charge it for a little bit, and now I'm back. At this point, we still have uh, 7, 11, uh, 49, and 52 to find. Uh, we do have a complete set of stickers. So let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. Oh, this is that comic book one again. Once again, another complete stick of gum. I really kind of do want to try just to have it, you know, turn to dust in my mouth, which is probably what it's going to do. I don't want to, though. Ugh. I gave some to my friends. They said they ate it and it just turned to powder. That does not sound appealing. So maybe I won't. Oh, all right. I'll try a little bit. I'll try this one here. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Little boy. Okay. Well, there you go. Now I can at least say I did it. All right, what are we on? Number six. We already have the full set of stickers, so it doesn't matter. But then once again, this is my favorite one. <laughs> the Plesiosaurus. Fantastic. Fantastic artwork on all of these. All right. Number 50, Gruesome Fate. We've already seen that one. Duplicate. London in Flames. Duplicate. Picnic of Peril. Duplicate. 48, duplicate, 36, duplicate. We're not doing so hot. We might not find these last few. That would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? All right. Let's 
These are some really cool stickers. I wonder if they're even still sticky. I have a whole set and I have a whole bunch more of these, so let's just try and see how much sticky is even left on these while we have a chance. Oh. Other. Nope. They're completely unsticky, is what they are. That's okay. I guess you could uh, put some glue stick on the back of them and glue them down to something if you really, really wanted to. Time Twister duplicate. You might be thinking, what am I going to do with all these duplicate cards? Well, I'll give you the answer. I'm going to put them back in their packages and glue stick the packages shut, of course, and then I'll have a bunch of unopened packages that I can leave in parks or uh, places of business where people can find them on their own accord. Uh, you know, I might do that. I might not. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll sell them on eBay, even though I've already opened them and looked at them. <laughs> no, I won't do that. I'm just kidding. Hey, you know what? If you want some, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll just let you have some after I wrap them all back up. It'll still be kind of a surprise, won't it? All right. Nope. I don't remember what numbers we're looking for. Seven, 11. Yeah. Oh boy. It's not looking good. I think we only have about four more packages after this one and then, uh, we're out of luck. So, you know, you know, you know, oh boy. Come on, baby. I really like that one too, although it seems really unfortunate. I mean, how many people are going to have to be in that one place for him to get one under each foot, one in his tail? Who knows? Number 11, we needed this one. Yes! Trapped in the basement! Get out! How did the dinos get in there in the first place? Oh, they're using... Look at this guy. He's got a, 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 a handsaw, a miter saw, bite, whatever the kind of saw that is. Sawing away at the dinosaur while it's swallowing this person. Oh, God. he's got a rake back there. Oh, man. How did they get in the basement? Perhaps they materialized down there. We'll just assume that that's what it was, yeah. All right. <gasps> number 49 we needed this one as well there's two out of the ones that we needed now we only need seven and 52 and then we'll be have a complete set but look at that ripped out of time this time it's the dinos who feel the wrath oh god well, that must go along with that time tunnel thing we saw earlier <laughs> this one's this one's not really so much getting ripped as he's just having his neck snapped in two all right, number 49. Very, very cool. We are almost there. <gasps> number 52. We needed this one as well. We only need one more card. We need number seven. The ultimate sacrifice. Uh, time to die. Helen, I'll always love you. He looks like, I swear, it's Matt Berry in like a different universe. Oh my God. The ultimate sacrifice. I think he gave his life to save the planet, if I am if I am understanding the way this goes. All right. Number 16. Seen it. Number 7. That's it. That's it, everybody. We have our complete set. Number 7. DC Holocaust. I guess that's the president and the first lady. Uh, and the White House back there burning. Secret Service with their M16s. These being decapitated by... What exactly? The wing of the pterodon? Who knows? But there you go. That's a whole set. Let me take a moment and get them all in order, and then we'll go through them one by one and have a look at them. And then later, I can wrap up all the ones that I don't want to keep back into a uh, some semblance of a, a sealed thing and do what I please with them. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break, put them all in order, and then we'll look at them. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Complete 55 card set of Dinosaurs Attack. Complete 1 through 11 of the stickers. Wait, I didn't put those in order. Stand by. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great, now they are in order. Boom, right there on top. And we have three unopened packs left over. I'm going to put those in a very special place. Okay, let's go through them together, shall we? Let's go through the stickers first, since there's only 11 of them. Allosaurus, eating the businessman. Ankylosaurus, smashing the hobo hippie man with his tail. Dimitrodon, 
eating the bus like a burrito. Brontosaurus completely going against its natural instincts and eating human meat. Parasolophilus, uh, once again a plant eater, this time eating a baby out of its baby carriage. Probably one of the most uh, gnarly of the stickers and or cards. Plesiosaurus, the Loch Ness Monster, uh, eating a scuba diver into, biting him right in half. Pterodon, snatching up the uh, equestrian lady and biting her head off, and presumably eating the horse later. Stegosaurus, impaling this uh, punk rocker, it looks like, with his tail. How ironic. He has a mohawk. Spiky hair. Died by the spike. Trachodon! Doing nothing but eating a lamppost. Cool. Triceratops. Spearing this police officer with his snout and crushing another underfoot. And the Tyrannosaurus. Eating the skateboarder. Cool. That's the stickers. All right. Ready to go through 55 cards. I sure am. Number one, just the little thing. Tops presents uh, Dinosaur's Attack and uh, the foreword. A hundred million years into the future they came, swept through time by an accident of science. Can human race survive? The human race? Or will these towering monarchs from the dawn of creation once again inherit the earth? This time for all time. This time for all time, 90% of the time it works at 80%, kind of one of those things. All right, the ultimate now. Nightmare is now a reality. Dinosaurs are back. Let's go. Experiment in space, flying towards the thing. They were doing something crazy and then something bad happened. Oh my gosh, time scanner. Disaster. It scanned a dinosaur and everybody is very surprised and this guy's annoyed by it somehow. Oh my goodness, number four. <gasps> the past comes alive. Uh, yep. Horror in homeroom as the children are eaten and the teacher is gripped by a purple T-Rex. <clears throat> Police precinct assaulted. Man has his eyeball smashed out. And they're shooting another one and then another guy's getting eaten. All right, number seven, DC Holocaust. This is the one with the president and the first lady dying horrendously at the hands of maniac pterodons. Crushing a canine, one of the saddest of the cards. Uh, this little child, if she lives, will be traumatized for the rest of her life. Probably won't live. Look, that one got squashed too by nothing in particular, apparently. All right, Nuptial Nightmare, the one that is excellent and I will still use for something marriage-related at some point in the future. Italy under siege. Oh my goodness, hot bananas, or whatever I said earlier. <clears throat> Trampled, trapped in the basement. There's that one. Yep, using power tools on the beasts. Picnic, pan <laughs> picnic, panic at the stadium. The man whose bat was bit in half and he's very confused by it. All right. Rock Concert Carnage, one of my favorites, where this man's being scalped. <sighs> lunch break. All the kids getting eaten on their lunch break. Horrible, horrible waste of youth. The Colonel, shredded. To shreds, you say. And his wife? To shreds, you say. Heartland Horror, smashed by the Armadillodon. Or I, don't, I made that up, I know I did, but there you go. Blue water, savage death. First he's eaten by a shark, then eaten by the pointy-eared elf dino. Horrible way to go. Tourist trap. Yeah, there you go. There's that. Madness in the street. French fries. I still think they're French fries. Oh, boy. Bashing the BMT. Yep. Yep, there's that one again. Fast food frenzy, Burger Barn. This guy was just looking for a salad. He's very angry that he's gotten meat. Behemoth fries. Sounds like something you might get at the Burger Barn. The Perfect Wave. This one also isn't bloody. I should have made a note of that earlier, but there you go. I actually really love this card. This guy's loving it. He's like, gnarly, bruh. Pop down, you're doing too much. 
London in flames. There you go. Big Ben being uh, uh, climbed on. Day of the duck bill. Yeah. An accidental death because their boat tipped over. And that's it. Coasting to calamity. World's hugest T-Rex with fists. Soviets versus Dimitrodons. There you go. Even the Russians are in peril. <laughs> Sorry and secrets. He's going to reach around for something there. I need to read this one. There you go. I hope you've paused it and read it because I certainly didn't read it that fast. I'll read it later. Monster in the Museum. There you go. Not much blood in this one either. Not nearly as graphic as as uh, as some of the rest. All right. A Kid Strikes Back. One of my favorites. Just fell off the bus that was getting eaten, picked up this dead army dude's bazooka, and bada bing, dead dino at the hands of a child. Our forces flattened. Good God. Cat Lady's Revenge. One of the best cards there is. Step away from my feline friends. Manhattan Island Swamped. I love this one because it's just fucking hilarious to me for some reason. Animal Wars. Yep, lion having its uh, brains eaten at the city zoo. Yep. A lady in distress. Yep, there's that one again. Statue of Liberty being destroyed. Comics Con Catastrophe. Once again, a very good card. Very good card. Uh, Picnic of Peril. Mm. Yep. I love the dinos in this one. They just look great. We can't hold them back. No, it seems like you're having a lot of trouble. This looks like a guy I know, actually, which is hilarious. All right, moving on. There's this guy who doesn't have enough strength left to just push off the eight, probably three ounce little bugs crawling on him and biting him. Yeah, sucks to be you, nerd. All right, Wrestling Riot. Also not much blood in this one. And the dino is getting the worst of it as it looks, except for maybe this guy. Confused Ref. Yep, yep. Entombed, the one that uh, is just really confusing, but makes sense if you understand the story, I guess. They materialize out of nowhere, and this guy was in the wrong spot while he was peeing. Cool. Moving on. Lights, camera, carnage. Yep, this one also confused the hell out of me the first time I saw it, as you uh, might remember. But uh, I like the irony of this one. It's pretty cool. Business lunch. Yep, the old man getting his uh, dentures knocked out. Confused looking uh, Asian man in the middle there. This guy looks way kind of happy about what's happening in a weird way. There you go. Meltdown. Yep, the power plant blew and uh, melted all the people. That's really gross, though. That is really, really gnarly. Dang, that is a good one. <laughs> the Anchorman Sparrow. This one's hilarious. That guy's head is just mutated. Are you sure he wasn't in this one? Uh, and just his head started to melt. Who knows? This guy's getting turned on, kind of, I think, in a weird way by that. Grip of horror. Yep. Get, get, get me out of here. Oh, boy. There you go. Supreme evil. He's got me. <laughs> it's not even a dino, but who cares? You can't let them win. I feel like this one should have come before the other one, but it didn't, did it? Oh, well. You can't let them win. Ripped out of time. She pushed the button, and here's what's happening. There you go. Boom. Gruesome fate for the dinos, I guess, this time. Look at that. Just whirling like a, like a dust devil of flesh and blood. Dino flesh and blood. Goodness. There's the time twister. Sucking them all back to where they came from in the year 1301 and beyond. The ultimate sacrifice. Yep, that guy paid the ultimate price, didn't he? I love the back of this one. It kills me. <laughs> oh, boy. And then the uh, sp space station explodes. And then they're rebuilding their world. How can we after all of this, though? And look, it's like kind of the... <laughs> You never forget. I'll always remember the times we had. Yeah, what does it say? 
Let's at least read this one. And so the human race survives. Cool. We pick ourselves up out of the rubble of a ravaged world and look toward tomorrow with renewed hope. The Saurian was right. Human beings do have souls. Okay, there's a lot going on here. We need to read We need to read them at some point. And then there you go. Dinosaurs attack the synopsis of it, number 55. There you go. And that's the end, my friends. I want to thank you for joining me on this journey. Uh, of exploring these cards and getting a complete set. That's pretty cool because I actually already have. In the event that I couldn't get a full set, I have a full set right here. So now I have two full sets uh, of Dinosaurs Attack cards. Thanks for joining me on uh, this very unique episode of Game Concise. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Like and subscribe, please.